Hey guys, how you doing? Trucker G here. Uh, I was asked a question. I was asked, you know, Trucker G, what are, what are some of your biggest pet peeves? And I've, I've got a lot. I really do. And uh, I guess I'll give you some of my, my biggest ones, you know. I can't stand a liar. I can't stand a thief. I don't like people that talk down to, down to others. I don't like bullies. Um... And I don't like people that take advantage of others. It's just the way it is. You know, I don't know if they were asking me if I, what my biggest pet peeves in life were, or what my biggest pet peeves are on the road are. You know, on the road, I'm just I'm like a lot of a lot of you others. I, I have some pretty big pet peeves out here on the road. Um, one of them, and it's really don't set well, well with me, and it never has, is the separation between us truck drivers and four wheelers. I mean, that's a big deal. What we tend to forget is these four-wheelers, four, four-wheelers out there, that's our family. You know, that's my family. That's your family. It's not just a four-wheeler. Why are we against these people? Us as drivers, we're, we're supposed to be professional. These other guys, you know, we don't know what kind of experience they have driving their cars. It's up to us to, to watch out for them, you know. Um, not tailgate them. Let them in when they're merging onto traffic. I know it, it's, it seems monotonous sometimes the way they drive. They don't understand that when they cut in front of you that they're taking up the space that you need to stop. Well, you need to back it down a little bit. And I, I understand you're in L.A. and you can only do that so many times until it's just driving you nuts. But as professional drivers, it's what we have to do. I mean, we got to stop looking at these cars like four-wheelers and start remembering that these people in these cars, they're our families. It's my family. It's your family. It's somebody's family. And we got to kind of forgive them for their mistakes, you know. Maybe the answer is to come up with PSAs to make them more of aware, more aware of what, what we're doing. Um, as far as out here on the road... You know, it drives me nuts. You know, that car, he's going to go merge onto the interstate, and he's already in front of you. You back off of it just a little bit to, to let him come over, and they want to slow down even more. I know it drives me nuts, too. And as soon as they get in front of you, then they decide to speed up. Well, if you're listening, you're a four-wheel driver. Hit that gas. Go on. Get about your way. <laughs> uh, another thing that drives me crazy is I'll be driving in the right-hand lane, and I'll see a truck going to get on the interstate and he's already building up his speed, but I'm going faster. I'll get in that left lane to, to make a pass on him. And he's just building the speed up, building the speed up. And then the next thing you know, you know, the speed limit's 60 mile an hour. He builds up to 60 mile an hour. We're side by side. Instead of let you know, keeping it at 55, 58, just to go ahead and let me make my pass. He wants to ride there right next to me. Well, I got over as a courtesy to you. At least let me back over or speed you speed up and get the heck out of my way. One of the two. Same thing with the cars, you know. It's just little little stuff like that. And after as many years as I've been doing it and some of you others do it, and I mean it it gets old, but we we gotta remember that some of these people just don't know better. No know any better. I mean common sense isn't as common as, as we think it should be. Um another big one is you know, my, my truck's not governed. A lot of you guys are governed, and I understand there's nothing you can do about it. It's company policy. It is what it is. But before you decide to make that pass on that truck that's doing 60, 63 because they're governed at 63, and you're governed at 65, look out of your left mirror. See if I'm coming up doing 75 mile an hour. And don't make me slow down 10 mile an hour so you could speed up 2 mile an hour. It's just it's common courtesy. So little things like that. I mean, there's all kinds of different pet peeves. One of my biggest one, like I said, goes right back to the four wheelers. I hate to see a professional driver tailgated in a four wheeler. It drives me nuts. It's unsafe. We know how long it takes to stop these trucks. And like I said, that's probably my that that could be my family in that in that car. And I, I don't I don't like it. I'll jump on the CV. I'll tell you. And half you don't have a CV anyway, so it really don't matter what I say on the CV, right? Uh, but I know, hell, I've had truck trucks do it to me while I'm driving driving my car at home. And what do you know, every time they've done it, 
family of badgers passed in front of me. It's it's amazing how that happens. And the next thing I know, they're doing 45 mile an hour behind me. <laughs> Think about it, guys. It don't take it don't take me long to stop in a car, but it takes you a long time to stop in a truck. You should know this. Why are you riding that guy's bumper? All they have to do is slam that brake. Then it's up to you to prove it was their fault. It's just little things to, to, to think about. I mean, as far as pet peeves, I can go all day, and I was going to try to make this a little lighthearted story, maybe maybe kind of, kind of a little funny, but there's really nothing funny about it. All right, well, I'm going to stop, get off my soapbox, and go back to relaxing, hoping they can get me out of here. Y'all be safe out there. Appreciate you watching.